Hey guys, Harry here with Monkey Shenanigans. Um, today, we're going to be doing an oil change on my golf cart because the motor burns oil and it's a it's an old motor that I forgot to change the oil on for a while and now it burns oil. So now I need to change it like frequently. So today we're going to be putting in some more 2050 oil. It's just a generic Walmart brand oil because you don't need really high quality expensive oil for you know a bad motor but I've already taken the back shell off of the golf cart and uh, now I'm gonna take the seat up and once we do that then I can refocus my camera and we want to start off by taking off an oil uh, fill cap because that will allow us to you know put in oil and it also drains easier and as you can see um there's like no oil in there so that's kind of like not good but we're not going to worry about that and uh besides that i'm going to grab a light real quick so I now have a light that doesn't want to work. Okay. So now that I have a light, we have, I already put our oil pan down beneath there, if you can see that. And I'm going to go ahead and get a 12 millimeter ratchet, or a 12 millimeter socket and a ratchet because I need to, you know, take out the oil so I'll cut back to when I have both those things okay guys I'm back I got myself the ratchet and the 12 millimeter socket and a pair of gloves and I got a seat to sit on so I can get an easier angle of attack on the oil bolt which is right down in there um, as you can see it's, it's right there and I'm going to be taking that out and then letting the oil drain out into the pan, which is right below it. And uh, I just wanted to remind everybody that it is recommended to wear gloves when, you know, dealing with any automotive stuff because there's liquids and oils and, and you know, stuff that, could, that can be toxic for your skin to to come in contact with and when working on motors and stuff your hands are most commonly the first thing that the liquids will come in contact with so it's always a good idea to wear gloves when uh, you're doing this type of thing so we're gonna go ahead and get right into taking this oil bolt out which is right in there and it's kind of a really weird angle but it is on there and it should come off if I pop it. Okay, so now I broke it free. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the ratchet out because I won't need it for immediate purposes. So I put it up right up there and I'm just gonna go in and I'm going to twist out the bolt with my finger okay and then the oil is going to start to come out and it's going to get all over my hands which is why I put on gloves and oil bolt is almost out and there we go as you can see the oil has started to come out of that set my oil bolt off to the side right here and I will be back when it's all drained okay so I just let it sit and drain out the oil for a little while I'm now going to start the bolt by hand and screw it in as far as it wants to go just with hand tightening and then I'm going to go ahead and tighten it up with the 12 millimeter 
if I can get my hand in there. And I got it threading now. So it shouldn't be too long before I get this threaded up. And then we're going to start to fill it with oil because I have prepared our oil while I was letting it drain. I got the funnel and I opened the oil bottle already. Okay. Um, that's about as tight as I'm going to be able to get it by hand. And now I'm going to make sure that the ratchet is on tightening. And then I'm going to go ahead and tighten it up with the ratchet now. And it feels nice and tight. Okay. I think we are probably good start to fill up our oil. And for that, I'm going to move the light back over to here so I can see easier. And then I'm going to grab our funnel. And it doesn't really matter what funnel you use as long as you only use it for the said liquid. So like you don't want to use one funnel for different types of oil and stuff. Thickness is okay, but if you're changing from synthetic to non-synthetic oil and using the same funnel, I would recommend cleaning it before doing so. But I'm just going to go ahead and start filling this up because it sh takes one quart to fully fill this motor at least. But you should check and make sure you know what you know, the specs of whatever you're changing the oil on are so you know how much oil your motor takes. Like, for example, uh, my motorcycle takes, you know, 950 milliliters, so it doesn't take a full quart, but it all depends on the motor and what size the motor is, so you need to know that so you don't overfill your oil or underfill your oil. And we are almost done. I'm just going to go ahead and let this drain the last little bit of oil out. Then I'm going to go ahead and throw away the oil bottle and cap because it is completely empty because as stated that motor uses a full quart of oil as you know it, it uses a whole full quart of oil and I'm just gonna let our funnel drain for another second and then I'm gonna go ahead and take that out and set it over here and we're going to take our oil cap with dipstick back and screw it on in there. And then uh, just want to screw in. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Screwed it in. Now I'm going to unscrew it and... Make sure we're at a healthy level of oil, which we should be. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it is just below the foot fill line. And Okay, as I was saying, um, the oil is at a healthy level for this motor. It's just below overfull, so um, I think that will be it for this video guys i'll see you in the next one